You want to take my mattress room? Where am I going to put the mattresses? Um, on the floor. Are those new mattresses or used? Oh, the ones that's in, in there right now? Yeah. They're, They're the old ones. ones. I mean, maybe some of the smaller markets you're in as of right now, really, that's like the cheap, I mean, anything close to Orlando for us is like anywhere from six to eight bucks a foot. Even in a denser area, it's getting up to 12 bucks a foot. <laughs> um, no, excuse me, excuse me, we're two bucks a foot. Okay, then yeah. I mean, so that's like eight, for based on what you're saying, you're saying six plus two for eight bucks a foot gross plus sales tax. So how big is this space? Let me just do the math real quick. 9,900, right? 9,860. 9,860 times 8 divided by 12. And what's the tax right there? So um, your sales, okay, I've got it in spreadsheets are number six. So that puts it at all in per month with sales tax. That's right. It's $7,033 a month. Let's make it firm real quick. That says 7% sales tax. Eight times nine. So I was never saying nothing bad about Tom. Are you filming this? You got this on film? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I consider Tom and Reese my friends. She say, I told them I was dissatisfied because of all the junk in has sold me. The store manager told me the pallet in sold me. She knew were trash. I asked them why did they sell them to me? You got all that? Mm -hmm. Now, do you see me talking her, her saying anything about me? Man, I love Resell America. I love everybody at Resell America. So for somebody to come and say, I said anything bad about Resell America, that's a lie. Because if you talk to all the people, this people's coming here, where do, you, where do I need to go? Resell America, located right there at the old Macy's in the mall, Lakeland Square Mall. But why am I hearing that I'm saying bad? Now she say, did you see what she say? Go to Tom. If I have a problem, I go to Tom. I come to you. Hey man, and tell them I always make everything right. But far as to slander my name about resale or try to tarnish my friendship here with these people's here, it's, it's a total bunch of bulls. I love resale. My wife love resale. My kids love resale. And everybody that I bring to resale love resale. But to put me in something that I have nothing to do with, it, she was dead wrong. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can. I can. I, mean, I, 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 you know, I don't know if the owner's gonna be accepting of it, but I right. just want to make sure I got my numbers correct before I go to them. And just, you know. No, I get it. Get a total clear understanding. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I could, I could probably do that, but that would be at the top of what I could do. I'm gonna tell you. I, I don't. I honestly, I don't have any room for negotiation, but I don't need, need any. I don't need the landlord to do anything there. So. Yeah. Now, as far as I mean, what you really like to see, obviously, bumps in rent over time. Right. If the store performs well, and we give you like. I don't know, three year term up front, I think you're looking for. Yep. Do slowly, slow bumps from there. And then, you know, well, then it'll be in your court, I guess, to determine the success of that location. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So whether you want to renew or not. Yep. I understand um, that. Okay. Well, what I'll do is I will um, I'll email your tenant application. I'd love to come down there and check out your spot. I also, I, I find your business so intriguing. <laughs> if you get some time, I'd love to, to sit down and go to lunch with you and talk about this other little side project I've been working on and pick your brain. I, I think it kind of falls in the same arena, the stuff that, that, that you work on in the same field. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm up to meet up anytime you want, man. I'm here in Lakeland most of the time, so um, you know, I'd love to hear about your business. You know, we got we got. Yeah, I've been working on another little project, side project through Starter Studio in downtown Orlando, but it kind of falls in the arena that you're working in, so I, I, it would be awesome. I'd, Really appreciate any feedback you have. I could kind of run through it with you more. Yeah, certainly. And you know, we we have a, a, a the YouTube channel too, which is Liquidation Motivation. I don't know if I told you about that, where we we help people out for free in this business and try to give them all the advice we can. I saw that. I started clicking around on it. So I mean, all that stuff, all that stuff's good intel, even for me to share the ownership of the landlord, so they get a better understanding exactly what your business is and who the tenant is going into the building. Right. So, you know, that stuff helps me tell a better story. How many pieces come in a truck? I yeah, mean, how many? I mean that varies on a high piece count load. You're getting, you know, 12, 1500 per pallet. If you're getting a medium load, you're getting 50 to 60 per pallet. If you're getting a, a big load, you're only getting two or three per pallet, you know? So it all depends on what load you're buying. Every load is different. Like you can see this, this is my CVS load here, right? That's coming in. And this pallet here alone 
It's a $16,000 pallet. There's 1,048 items in it, all right? So it's all tests. Look at these DNA tests we're sending to our bin store to sell for five bucks, right? Or whatever it goes for. Ancestry tests. Uh, there's also thyroid tests. There's just, just a ton of stuff in here. So if you look at the pallet count, you know, I, I own this stuff for about a, a little $1.50 each for these ones. Look at the price on that. $68.99, I'm sending that beast to the bin store just to get rid of it, gone. I probably should look that up on eBay because $1 day, I'm sorry, that's my $20 day. My $20 day, I'm averaging about 200 items a, a, a week. On my $1 day, I'm averaging about 3,000 items on my dollar day. So that might give you, you know, then then four, three, and two are, are you know, are less, you know, but I would say in a week, I would guess eight to 10,000 items per store, you know, and it just depends on what day of the week they sell on and it depends on how good your inventory is, you know? I mean, you know, th this should be good. This stuff should sell real well. This is not phone cases from Amazon, you know? So this kind of stuff sells a lot better than the Amazon stuff when you can get it. But these are high piece counts that you need to get for less than a dollar, you know, and just blow it out, just blow it out, and move on because these, lo these loads seem to be coming more and more plentiful and look how clean it is. It's just perfectly clean. People buy the, People buy that. This is health and beauty that I get. You know, like this is like, this stuff here is like 18 bucks of a, uh, uh, 18 bucks a bottle, and we're throwing that in our bin store. We don't care when it sells. You know, it comes in two packages here. We'll throw that in there. There's just going to be tons and tons of the CVS we're going to get. Man, there's a lot of this. Fit IQ, another DNA test. Some more of the uh, Spider-Man wristband there. That's kind of neat. Spider-Man wristband, we got Spider-Man knee pads. It looks like more here, lots of, this is Don Joy though. Don Joy is expensive, man. Don Joy is like the premier name, like the NFL guys, they wear Don Joy. That's the, the high-end uh, the high end braces they wear on the, on the line in the NFL. It's all good stuff. Let me see what this Spider-Man, it's possible this could be like 20, 25 bucks. Oh yeah, so it says $19.99 right there on the bottom, so. But on eBay, it's selling for, should we send it to Esteban? $8 and $8, no, we're getting rid of it. We're sending it to the bin store. We don't care what it sells for. All the good old days. Don't put that on camera. What are you smelling? What is Boom Boom? So if you need to buy from a broker, I mean, I, re I recommend Midtown Liquidators. He's out of California, Mike Sims, and the beautiful Jody. You know, you can buy from them, I trust them. Uh, Colton Carlson, I trust him. You know, there's other guys, if you can get to the contract holders, I'd get to them, but a lot of times they don't want to talk to, to people that are just getting into the business. So you're gonna have to buy 20 truckloads a week in order to get their attention. Um, so that's where I would start. But B-Stock, I trust B-Stock. Stay away from the private seller side and go to the, the retailer side. You can get some good deals on the retailer side. Stay away from the private sellers. The majority of times in my life when I've been screwed on a deal, it's been on the private seller side of B-Stock. Things don't come in like they say. They, you know, they take pictures and just, they cherry pick the pictures. So they're just, you know, showing one brand new, you know, brand new stuff when the whole load might be trash. I've had it before. I've had it lots of times. So, um, you know, that's where I would try. B-Stock, Mike Sims, uh, Colton Carlson. Check those guys out to get started in the business.